Do you guys want me to tell you the number one mistake that home sellers are making when they market their houses? Yeah, you do, baby. Okay, it is, drum roll please, overpricing, what? Yes, really almost every seller that I talk to as a listing agent is excited to price their house as high as they possibly can. They wanna price it at the tippy top of the market with the idea that if it doesn't sell, we can always bring the price down. We can do a price reduction. And apparently this strategy is happening a lot because we are seeing more and more price reductions across the board. Unfortunately, this is not the strategy that I typically recommend because days on market are not your friend. If you see a fresh new listing on the market and you go and see it as a buyer, if you decide not to buy that home, then chances are you're not going to revisit it later unless they have a significant price change. You want your home to be the obvious choice, a clear and easy yes for buyers who come and take a look at it. You want them to be excited and ready to move forward. And by overpricing your home, you kill its momentum out of the gate. You make everybody who's the most eager and excited to come see it and say no. And then you're just a sitting duck for people who are gonna lowball you because it's been sitting around or your agent hounding you for a price reduction because that's what you need to do to get it sold. Better to keep the momentum on your side come out at a great price that looks like a great value to people. If it's too low, you'll get multiple offers that will get bid up. If it's just right, the buyer will know he's got to step in line and not over push on negotiations and other things because you could always go back out on the market. It's not a stale listing. You still have power and leverage on your side if you price it right from the beginning.